okay all right so uh, welcome to aviation uh, engineering youtube channel so uh, i finished uh, uh, teaching you about the aircraft general uh, for the previous week so i prefer uh, i thought i thought to uh, take this fcom like flight crew operating manual uh, because uh, this is a good uh, uh, pdf uh, you can uh, get some summarization uh, about uh, aircraft general so uh, i'm waiting uh, for the subscribe my subscribers and also if anyone who like to join so i will just uh, wait around uh, five minutes so then i can uh, just explain uh, it's like a summary so uh, yeah so uh, in uh, and i want to tell uh, if you uh, if you are a new viewer to my channel so through this channel i'm going to teach you about uh, AC20 uh, type training practice lessons and also EASA part 66 lessons also so uh, uh, if you like uh, my youtube channel you can uh, subscribe my channel and also uh, if you like uh, the videos I'm doing so you can uh, like the videos and also if you think these videos will be uh, benefits for your friends or you you can share these videos with uh, your friends and relatives or anyone uh, all right so uh, okay so i will start the lesson right now uh, okay all right so uh, this is flight crew operating manual and uh, this is uh, regarding a320 all right so uh, this is the introduction general management so uh, like uh, sorry general arrangement so that we are going to discuss about principal dimensions and unpressurized compartments and antennas locations and ground maneuvering and ground service connection and panel. so this will be a short video and uh, uh, yeah uh, this will be a short video so okay uh, after finish this uh, live stream uh, you can uh, watch this uh, live stream through my youtube channel and okay all right so uh, let's go to the first page uh, all right so this is the aircraft general introduction so general so a320 is a subsonic medium rate civil transport aircraft Right. so just remember a320 is a subsonic medium rate civil transport aircraft so when you talk about the engine so the aircraft has two high bypass turbofan engines right so the a320 have two bypass uh, turbofan engines uh, mounted under the wings right so you have to keep in mind this is mounted under the wings right so about the cockpit so the cockpit is arranged for a two crew member it also has a place for one observer right and uh, okay and also they have a fourth occupant seat also all right so about the cabin the passenger seating layout may be varied to suit uh, operating requirements the certificated maximum is 180 seats right so 20 aircraft is uh, maximum for 180 seats about the cargo there are two cargo compartments under the cabin floor is named as forward cargo and aft cargo all right so let's go to the first page so aircraft general so now we are going to talk about aircraft, uh, general arrangements right so the general uh, uh, general arrangements this sub chapter gives the principal aircraft dimensions right location of unpressurized areas antennas ground service uh, connections and ground maneuvering characteristics right so i remember in the first lesson about aircraft general i uh, did i talk about the uh, the dimensions and how the aircraft the, i mean the uh, yeah I, I talk about the dimensions and the, the service points and doors and if you where are they located all right so if you want uh, you can uh, go to my video list and you can check uh, these videos all right so let's go to the principal dimension so this is the aircraft when we see from the top view and this is from the side view and this is from the uh, when we see from the forward right so you can see as i said uh, the previous video uh, uh, from here to here is about 3.95 meters is around 20, 12 feet and 11 inch right from uh, engine to the structure you can see the 5.75 meters right uh, the total length is around 37.57 meters 123 feet and 3 inches all right so when we talk from side view you can see from uh, ground to the uh, uh, the infinite uh, the section uh, the tall is around 12.14 meters right so from the window to the ground is around um, 
yeah is around 4.56 meters all right so when we see the wind spans is around 34.1 meters right uh, from the stabilizers you can see 12.45 um, meters right all right so now let's go to the yeah here is the unpressurized compartments right so you have to remember the o's are the pressurized compartments and these are the unpressurized uh, compartments okay so here the nose gear bay nose gear bay also a unpressurized compartment right and uh, this is the uh, air conditioning compartments and main gear bay these two also unpressurized compartments and the tail cone also unpressurized so so these are pressurized compartments right so this is the forward cargo and f cargo right this is the cabin cockpit all right uh yeah now this is antenna locations you can see in aircraft have so many antennas why when they fly through the sky they have to communicate with the atc right so we can see the antennas right see uh yeah so this is the radar and here you can see two uh, are there glide globe and the localizer the localizer in the up and down is the glide globe and uh, here is the uh, dme distance measuring equipment number one and this is atc uh, and this is distance measuring equipment number two and this is the tcas uh, and this is the marker marker beacon and this is twlu and gpsu here and gps1 over there tcas and over there and okay and here is uh, atc mode s over there right so this is the atc right so this is the vhf1 and this is uh, gps2 gps1 right uh, all right so you can uh, go through this one right so this is the adf1 and adf2 vhf3 elt and uh, hf1 and 2 over there and vr vr and radio altimeter radio altimeter number 2 over there right so this is vhf2 all right so in in, in future lessons uh, in the communications right so i will uh, m uh, deeply explain about what what are the uh, what are the things these antennas will do right and uh, i will show you exactly what is the antenna from the pictures right so you can uh, stick with my channel then you can uh, learn about these things and uh, yeah so now let's go to the ground maneuvering ground maneuvering these are the minimum turning radius right so here is the aircraft so this is the executive turn right it is around 70 degrees and the steering angle is around 75 degrees right so this is the uh, theoretical center of turn for minimum training minimum turning radius over so, uh, there right from here to is r6 and here is radius number 4 radius 5 radius 3 right so this is this is the minimum theoretical pavement with 480 degrees turn all right okay so here the slow continuous turn running and symmetrical thrust no differential braking dry surface okay all right so uh, yeah here the feet and the meters from y all right so here from here to here y and uh, yeah uh, 4.6 so you can go through this uh, table all right okay so now let's go to the um, yeah so these are the ground service connections and panels okay about this also i uh, teach you from uh, in the uh, aircraft general lesson so you can check this uh, lesson and you can learn more all right so we can i just explain uh, where's the locations just an example all right so you can see here uh, number one is toilet servicing uh, this is num this is the toilet servicing over there all right so okay and this is a uh, water filling or draining so number two is water filling or draining and here also they are water filling or draining is like optional and number three electrical ground power receptacle number three is electrical ground power receptacle over there and uh, number four low pressure ground air supply connector number four here low pressure ground air supply connector over there and number five high pressure ground air supply connector number five yeah number five is their high pressure uh, high pressure uh, ground air supply connector and number six hydraulic number six here these are the hydraulics yellow blue and green you can see uh, hydraulics over there and idg oil filling number seven here yes idg oil filling over there right and uh, number eight engine oil filling number eight here is now engine oil filling over there and uh, refueling defueling number nine yeah refueling defueling uh, both wings we have we can see the refueling defueling here here also there and here also there and uh, gravity filling panels number 10 gravity filling panels you can see in the corner gravity filling panels okay on this side also have gravity filling panels and uh, refueling defueling panels number 11 refueling defueling panel over the right side of the aircraft we can see refueling defueling panel okay it is uh, controlled by electrically right 
and uh, APO oil filling number 12 is APO oil filling yeah so that is the end of fcom uh, for the aircraft general they didn't give uh, they didn't give any uh, deeply uh, information about aircraft general these are the main thing you have to learn about aircraft general so from the next lesson i mean in these days i'm uh, just doing the aircraft uh, 80 chapter 21 air conditioning so i'm still with a uh, zone temperature control lesson so i have to do the pressurization okay and also have more chapters so it's around maybe around 15 videos uh, uh, playlist so after finish the 80th chapter so i will again do the fcom i'm uh, flight uh, crew operating manual uh, for the 80 chapter 21 then you can uh, get and some idea uh, rough idea as and also you can use this as a uh, summarization for your uh, a 320 type training uh, as a practice right so before you have to do the type training before you do the type training, you can get some uh, some idea about this one. Actually, uh, this FCOM also given uh, from the lecturer uh, uh, which I study my type training. So he gave this one and he told me, yeah, this is the best option to get uh, uh, learn about the systems through the FCOM. Okay, so I will share this uh, information with you and you can uh, get a good knowledge. All right, so that is the end of this live stream. So. This is very short live stream so if you like this video you can uh, just uh, like this uh, button and also subscribe my channel and yeah i will uh, looking forward to do so many videos about aircraft uh, type training and also in future i am planning to uh, like motivational videos like you know i want to talk i want to make some uh, interviews with some aircraft engineers like different countries like from vietnam uh, philippines or from Sri Lanka and Australia yeah I'm going to do some interviews and it will be it will uh, maybe a uh, like a uh, good uh, for you to your career and I uh, when I do some uh, videos so you can comment below what are the questions you have so then I can answer for these questions all right so that is the end of this uh, live stream so then I will meet you uh, from the next lesson so next lesson will be uploaded in this friday so it is, is uh, this is also about at chapter 21 uh, aircraft general so in this lesson um, i maybe i will i'm going to uh, explain you deeply about a320 a320 21 and 19 aircraft it, uh, air conditioning system all right so thank you everyone and uh, we will meet you soon okay